Hey guys, I'm Yovana, and today I'm here with my good friend, John Venus. Hey, what's going on? Can you please introduce yourself to all of us? Oh yeah. So oh, I am John Venus, and uh, I am mostly known as a vegan bodybuilder, although I wouldn't call myself a bodybuilder. That's what everyone calls me, so I'm just going uh, with that. So yeah, vegan bodybuilder, YouTuber, um, social media. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Influencer. Yeah, influencer, yeah. okay. Yeah. So yeah, I basically just make YouTube videos, uh, just like Giovanna, and um, show what I eat, how I live, basically. I am vegan, and uh, I pretty much just, you know, show how to build muscle on a vegan diet, and how to live an awesome life, basically. Yes, go check out his videos, and make sure to subscribe to his channel, because he has amazing videos, really good content. We've been talking for months and finally we're here making a video for you guys and I'm so excited for this video because we're gonna talk about the top 10 foods to build muscle on a vegan diet. Oh, because yeah. all these muscles are vegan, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like built from plants. So yeah. how about we start with the raw foods? Let's because do that. So many people still keep asking you the question, where do you get your protein <laughs> on a vegan diet? Oh, um, yeah. So first we can start off with uh, broccoli and... Yeah, broccoli and what do we have here? Spinach, right? Broccoli and yes. spinach, pretty much any dark leafy greens or you know pretty much any uh, green vegetables like broccoli uh, will have quite a lot of uh, protein in it. Um, so basically these are the go-to uh, vegetables or dark leafy greens for me. So broccoli is actually a very good source of protein and spinach is as well. I use spinach a lot in my smoothies and also in salads. Broccoli I just you know just use it with all my meals you know. Um, it's just a, it tastes really good and yeah. uh, broccoli has 2.8 grams of, of protein per 100 grams. So we're doing, before we like I go into everything, everything yes. will be per 100 grams, yes. okay? So um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but yeah, 2.8 grams per 100 grams. It's quite a lot uh, for a vegetable, so very good source of protein right here. Yes, and spinach is 2.9 grams per mm -hmm. 100 grams. Also very good. Yes. Yeah. Another raw food that we've been munching on right now <laughs> is uh, mushrooms. So mushrooms have 2.1 grams of protein per 100 grams, which is pretty good too. Yeah, and yes. uh, these are amazing. Like I don't really eat it raw, but... <laughs> <laughs> but now I do. Mm. Uh -huh. Mmm, mm. it's super good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She just introduced raw mushrooms into my life right now. <laughs> super good. You can eat raw mushrooms because a lot of you guys ask me. So mm -hmm. you were saying that if you cook them? If you cook them, you'll be able to get a larger volume in, but you can still eat them raw. Um, but if you cook them, they shrink a lot, so you can put like loads and loads of, of them in a pan and just um, fry them or bake them or whatever you want to call it. And just like they'll become super small and you'll be able to get a lot of protein out of it. Mm. Super good. Yum. Another food is avocado. Everyone loves avocado. It's not only a great source of healthy fat, but also a great sort of source of protein. Yeah, two grams per 100 grams. And it doesn't sound like a lot, two grams, you know, it doesn't, you know, it's not gonna help you build muscle, <laughs> but it will. And a lot of people will have you believe that you need a lot of protein to build muscle, which is not the case, uh, you know. You what don't. is it that you need? Um, it depends, like, uh, what I recommend mostly uh, there are no studies indicating exactly like how much you need, um, but the safe side is kind of like 0 0.5, 0 0.6 grams per pound of body weight. So that's what I recommend uh, my clients, for example. Uh, but you can go lower than that and still build muscle. So I, I'm, I tend to keep on the higher side of things, but um, obviously you can go lower than that and still make a lot of gains. So, so the way to make gain is basically work at the gym. Yes, yes, and eat enough calories is the most important thing. So how sure. many calories do you eat a day, approximately? Or uh, Like, if I'm different? trying to put on muscle, maybe three and a half thousand calories or so. Wow. Yeah, yeah. sometimes a lot, a lot more if I, uh, you know, do cheat meals and stuff. Like, just eat at restaurants, it easily goes up to five thousand, so. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. And <laughs> you have a video on, like, a challenge of eight, or how many? Yeah, well, it was my brother, but yeah, he was eating, like, 13,000 calories or something. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of food, but you don't need to do that, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. To build muscle, the most important thing is to be on a caloric surplus uh, and work out. So you need to uh, stimulate your muscles in order to uh, in order for them to grow. And if you're a girl, you will not look bulky. You'll not like all of a sudden no. look like me if you, if you uh, train in the gym. No. Um, you'll just look athletic and, and toned. So yes. just keep that in mind. Yes. 
Another one is beautiful hemp seeds, hemp hearts, hemp seeds. They have 33 grams of protein mm -hmm. per 100 grams. That's amazing. Yeah. Things are starting to that's get serious so right now. Yeah. much protein. That is a lot. Wow. And yeah, one of the things that surprised me the most actually about, um, you know, uh, hemp seeds, like 33% of it is actually protein. That's crazy. Wow. And obviously it has a lot of uh, different uh, benefits. Uh, loads of amazing amino acids yes, and um, it tastes pretty good. Omega 3s, it's yes. awesome. Good for your brain. Yeah. <laughs> Another one is goji berries. So these are some raw goji berries, also known as a superfood. Mm -hmm. You can put them in your smoothie bowls, in your smoothies, and they're a good source of protein as well. Mm -hmm. It's actually it's a complete uh, protein. So it has all the amino acids that you need. Yeah. And uh, the taste is just amazing. I usually so put this good. in, uh, like so when good. I make oatmeal, or uh, for example, I just uh, throw a little bit of oatmeal in there, throw bananas in there, and on top I'll sprinkle some goji berries and mm. it's amazing. So good. 14 grams of protein per 100 grams. 14. 14. That's more than I thought actually, yeah. Yeah, 14. It's good, it's mm -hmm. really good, yeah. yeah. Next up is lentils. So do you eat lentils often? I eat lentils very often, yeah. Green lentils, red lentils, uh, 26 grams of, of protein per 100 grams. That's Amazing. Quite a lot. Yeah, and that's yes. raw, by the way. Cooked, yeah. it's gonna be a little bit less because mm -hmm. uh, it absorbs a lot of water, so it's just like empty weight. Oh yeah, exactly. If you're yeah. if you're a raw vegan, uh, you sprout the, the lentils and you'll get all the benefits as well. Tried it before and yeah. it tastes pretty good. Actually. Yeah, it's good. I really like I've it. I've tried it too. Yeah. And I even have a lentil soup here on my channel. So oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys can check that video out. <laughs> Next is raw oats. So I eat some oats sometimes. I like to make oatmeal or. Um, Overnight oats. Mm -hmm. Do you like do you eat them often? I love oats. Yeah, I eat it all the time. Yeah. yeah. I think for about four years straight I had the same breakfast and it was always oats every single day. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm a big fan of oats. I do not cook my oats uh, that often. Sometimes I will if I want uh, for the meal to be a bigger volume so it fills me up more quickly, then it's a good idea to cook it because it absorbs the water and just fills you up uh, faster. Um, but for the taste of it, I just prefer to just eat it raw. So I always eat uh, uh, so raw oats I like with bananas. Yeah. You like them yeah, raw? Yeah, I like them yeah? raw. Yeah, yeah. 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 raw it's oats really are amazing, good. seriously. Yeah. Perfect for uh, bodybuilding, perfect for a pre workout meal or mm -hmm. a post workout meal. It's perfect for pre workout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sugar. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, 13 grams per 100 grams. Next is garbanzo beans. Mm. Yum. Or chickpeas. Or chickpeas. You can sprout these or cook these. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've never tried them sprouted. Yeah. I'm actually going to give them. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're good. Yeah. They, they taste basically the same. Oh, really? Yeah, they taste very oh. similar. 19 grams per 100 grams. Yep, really, really good. I, I eat these. chickpeas oh my God. almost every hummus. day. Hummus. <laughs> oh, yeah, hummus as well. Amazing. Yeah, so good. Yeah. And finally, beans. Beans is like a staple if you want to build muscle, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, just like lentils, it's got a huge amount of protein um, and it tastes amazing. You can make, you know, loads of dishes with this. I'm pretty lazy, so I'll just buy the uh, the canned kidney beans or black beans. Um, I'm Brazilian, I'm half Brazilian, so I eat a lot of black beans. And, I love uh, black beans. Oh yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. Yeah. You just put a little garlic in there, and mm. it tastes amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you can't eat them raw, so yes. yeah, you're gonna have to cook these. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, you can. Uh, probably one of my favorite meals is is just uh, you know post workout meal is gonna be kidney beans cooked, obviously mm -hmm. with um, mashed sweet potato and mm. some asparagus and broccoli and spinach or something like that. It's like one of the best bodybuilding meals you can have. Yeah, yeah, yeah because asparagus helps uh, to release water, right? Yeah, it's a uh, diuretic, natural right. diuretic, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, if you're trying to lose a water weight for a photo shoot <laughs> for a party or wedding, uh -huh. just eat a lot of asparagus. Yeah, <laughs> raw is better. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 24 grams per mm -hmm. 100 grams yeah. of protein. That's yeah. so much. Yeah, yes. and we're talking about protein here all the yeah. time, and it's not, you know, this is bodybuilding meals or, or exactly. meals to, or foods to build muscle. It doesn't yes. need to be protein because carbohydrates are equally as important. Fats are very important yeah. as well. So it's not all about protein, like uh, it, maybe it sounded like it was all about protein, yeah, but it's, it's definitely important yeah. to have a lot of carbohydrates. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because you eat still a lot of fruit, right? Yeah, not a lot, but well, I eat a lot of bananas. Bananas. Bananas, yeah. Mostly bananas. It's just. The most beneficial for you know just 
I don't know, the taste and it, it just mixes well with everything. So I'll always have bananas in smoothies. Uh -huh. Sometimes I'll have dates if I'm trying to put on weight really quickly, I'll have some dates in there because okay. it really boosts the calorie yeah, content. So does. if you're struggling with, uh, you know, gaining or putting on weight, add dates, yes. oats yes. and banana and some greens into your smoothies and you know, you'll be able to uh, get in those calories really fast. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, John. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Thank you so much for sharing. You guys, go check out his videos. And also, go check out the video that we filmed on his channel. I'll leave the link to that below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you so much, John. Thank and you for having me. It was great. <laughs> also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. No Twitter. Okay, I have Twitter, <laughs> Pinterest, Snapchat. Oh wow, I need to catch up, seriously. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything, John Venus, is that yeah. your channel? Yeah, John Venus, just okay. my name. J-O-N, Venus, like the planet, simple, yeah. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my website, Ravana.com. I'm building a brand new website, and you'll even get a free food combining chart if you subscribe there, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Lots of love and light, besos, and I'll see you later, okay? Bye!